YouTube. So, so the 500 watt power supply didn't really put out the amount of power that I thought it was going to. You know, I figured if the other one was faulty, okay, then maybe this one would give us you know, more than 70 watts. I know that circuit draws more than, than 70 watts. I know I should be able to get that on at least, you know, round about the near enough the five amps at 30 volts. And that's more than third. That's more than uh, 70 watts. So what I'm going to do now is I've got these power supplies. These are uh, old switch mode power supplies from old Xboxes. And so I'm going to try one of these. I'm going to take this apart again. I'm going to. Uh, do the necessary modifications to leave, you know, the, uh, the bits and pieces I've got attached to this in here, but I'm going to do it in order so I can just chuck and change power supplies. I think this is going to have to be like a, it's going to have to be like what this one used to be, where I was continuously taking out the transformer through other stuff. I put it in there and then take it back out, and so it never actually got to be. Um, just sit there being ready to be used so this one's going to have to be like that for a little while because I'm going to try again with this coil um, and I did make a video and I also showed that when I just used an element on this I still couldn't get out very much power even from this I think I managed to get it up to it wasn't a lot it was around about the same amount it was about like 30 40 it wasn't a lot, I'll have to go over the video and put the video up. But it wasn't a great deal, even using a load, like a heating element load, straight onto the, the terminals here, um, and turn it up full whack, and it, and it still wasn't hardly doing anything. So, it's got to be the source, unless... I can't remember when I did the, the, the test on this, I can't remember how much current it was drawing, but it, it was drawing a bit of power. And then, if that doesn't work very well, if using one of these ATX, it doesn't work very well. Okay, I didn't actually realise how easy I'd made that on myself. All I had to do was just cut these power wires and cut the cable tie holding the wires in the back and the rest of it was just in the chop block not this one I left it on the ATX supply so I can just plug these wires back into it reconnect these wires and we're good to go again like that so just ignore this stuff here so we got this uh, switch mode is on now we got 12 volts as its minimum that's turned down as far as I can turn this down of course I can turn that up 85 and a half a little, bit, a little bit more, 86.6 .6. so of course the maximum we can put into this uh, still is 60 volts I believe let's not get that wrong hey <laughs> um, and now I'm going to find something to stick on here first and see how much current we can draw at what voltage using my heating element and so here's the heating element should move some of this stuff. I'm just going to do a quick um, just check on the. Oh, I went around too far. Leave it on there. I should have really needed to have clicked it once. And really, I've got it on capacitance. I don't want it on capacitance, I want it on resistance. Being a bit of a go ahead. Oh, let's just click on there. Put this on there. I think that's 50. Is it 50 of them? There we go. We've got 52.84. And then between here and here, should be about half of that. Oh, double it. Okay, so the smallest one we got is 50 ohms. Or well, we got 100 ohms as a big, as a big resistance, right? So I'm gonna. I'm going to use a wire actually so it's going to be more a lot easier. I don't know where that is used. That's the noise being used. Uh, okay, so I've just had to resort to this camera because the other one's getting mental again. 
Um, so what I've done is I connected directly to my battery there. This this uh, yellow is negative and the red is uh, positive, and it's just connected to that junction box there where it says fuse. Um, it's just connected to the crocodile clips of this actually, which goes into my battery charger for my quad. So we've got those wires that come in here, they're just coming into here, not a, not a biggie. Um, and I've got this 50 ohm load on there, which is quite happy to do. It's a mains, it's a heater element. So so let's just flick this on, because I don't know whether it um, recorded last time. So we'll just turn it all the way up, and again, we're staying around about the same voltage, around about the same ampage. But we could definitely pull more through the battery system. Um, so it is. It does seem to be limited from on here. So that's under the minimal voltage. Um, and I did this already a couple of times. Did the just uh, the twiddle of the amp in here in case there's any sort of restriction. But I'm telling you now, I've stripped both the ones that I've got of these, and it's not even connected to the board. I mean it's in there, it's got holes and it's been put in there but there's no tracks that lead into the rest of the circuit with this so I don't expect it to do anything and if it did I would be very very surprised but just because it's using my batteries uh, I'll just connect that put it back on again um, but it's, it's, not, it's not doing anything so the restriction may not be then with my power supplies like the this one here that I've just tried and the other two ATXs it could be down to this it could be down to that not actually putting out the power huh now I know one of them and I did a power I did a video where we were pulling out quite a bit of power from it but do you know I can't even remember how I was powering that in the first place it must have been from the other power supply. But that's worth sort of um, taking into account because I've been trying to trying to do something with this, you know, because the... Uh, oh, what's happening? Oh, it's just this bit of plastic I've left on there. No, it's not. It's actually this plastic of this or something coming off it. Sticky and gunky. Mm. Anyway. Um... Yeah, so it's this. It's the the boost converter isn't allowing enough power in. Oh, I forgot I got that powered on there. That goes through to the switch. I could have powered it directly from here from this wire, I suppose. But you know, I'd expect to see a lot more going through there and for these to get quite warm and messed up. Start smelling. Um if that was actually drawing that amount of current through it. Right, I need to investigate this a little bit more and see what I can do about it. Well, I could have been hitting all this from the wrong angle. I'll tell you for why. Because at the minute there's 40 volts on the output here. Let's get rid of this, try and make it safer. The other camera keeps playing up so I'm going to have to just use this one. Okay, it says minus 40, that's just because I've got the wires on the way around. You see that 40 volts? And I've got it just connected to this power supply. And so now if I reconnect this back up to there, switch this back to the 10 amp mode, for some reason my other one's not reading in amps. Maybe I've I've blown up without knowing. Uh and now and this is where this all fails, doesn't it? Because how can I hold this and do them with both my hands? Where is that little have need holder? Um Well we're gonna have to make do without We've been able to hold on to anything, so here's the. That's what these things are there for. Let's put that onto there. And.
8.72 and that's at 40 volts right and that's round about what it was doing anyways we ain't got a problem with that uh, now what I want to do is have a different load and this is where uh, this is a this is a 10 ohm load um, and we're going to connect this to there now I'm expecting to see a big ampage jump so let's have a little look can you see that from there? it's probably not the greatest let's see if we can get that so it's going to be at a better angle and I'm gonna oh did you see the little yeah Okay, that's starting to smoke already. But that's because at 40 volts it was drawing about 3.5 amps. So if I just do it once, looking over there. Yeah, 3.48, so let's say 3.5. We've got smoke coming off that now, so I'll let that cool down. Um, so 40 times 3 is 120. Um, plus half of that, so that's about 130 watts. Oh, sorry, 100, 100, uh, 140 watts. So it's delivering, but do you hear the noise it makes? But there is 140 watts there that can be delivered. So I've been looking at this all wrong, and haven't I? I'm going through um, some stuff, and I'm not been thinking that clearly uh, on what I've been doing. But it's just. I'm curious because before I've drawn a lot more current through that coil it must be this one's doing my setup now but I was hoping that that was going to deliver the power to the thing now remember this is only 12 volts going into this so I think I actually need to put the power up going in um, in order to um, have more power to use, you know, like that 600 watts that it's claimed that this can put out. And I think that's where I've been going wrong, because what I'm doing is I'm putting my battery power into here. Not at the minute, I'm using this. But when it's in here, or when this one is wired up, I have the battery panel going into this, and then from this to this. <sighs> I think I have to be able to deliver more power into that sometimes. Or well, now what I should have done, I should have used this bloody load before, shouldn't I? So now what I've got to do now is reset this back up again, which won't take me five minutes. Reset that back up again, and try this load this 10 ohm load um, as that certainly does get it to draw a bit of power this one as you can hear it, it draws the power off this but it does make that noise through the inductor um, so I should just to press on to I'm not going to do it with my finger, I'm going to do it back down here again so you can see the It's definitely 3.49, but look, as you can see, smoke. I don't know if you can see that smoke. <laughs> yeah. I'm more worried about these wires, eh? They don't seem to be holding up too bad, but this, this does smoke a little bit. Okay. Hmm. Right, I need to have another little rethink about how I'm gonna how I'm gonna try and pull more power through that coil using this setup because it can obviously do it. Then the boost converter is all right at 12 volts. Um, maybe I should try the other power supply on this 
and see if the other power supply is giving out enough power. Yeah, that's going to be in the next lot. I'm not going to do it tonight though, I don't think. Um, I may do, but we'll see.